Hi, Jeff Cote here with BoatingTechTalk.com. So we've got a question from a fellow boater uh, named Carl. Uh, Carl asks, Jeff, I'm about to purchase a new to me boat. Uh, it's a 2006 Camano 41 Flybridge. I know you always say if the wiring looks neat and organized, then it's probably well maintained. Well, the wiring looks good, but I'm wondering what else should I be looking for? So of course I can only talk uh, electrically here. Um, having worked, and again, I, I want to thank everyone for inviting me on the thousands of boats that we've worked on. The first thing is when you're buying a boat, you're actually not just buying a boat, you're buying the previous owner's tolerance or uh, sort of discipline in maintaining that boat. So if a boat is not properly taken care of, well maintained by the previous owner, even though it might have been an amazing boat out of the factory, an owner, a previous owner, can do a lot of damage to the boat by not maintaining it or just simply jerry-rigging everything when it breaks. So what I encourage always potential shoppers of boat to look for is not only are you looking for a boat, but you're also looking for a match with the owner. And you wanna make sure that both of you see eye to eye, both in maintenance, right? What are the things you should do on a boat? And are you willing to cut as much corners as the previous owner did or not? Because some boat owners will maintain their boat impeccably and others won't. And it's not so much an issue if, um, if you've got an owner that takes care of a boat great and you don't, that's okay. But the biggest challenge that I find and the most amount of frustration is that these boat owners are buying these boats that have been effectively quasi abandoned by the previous owner. And now the new owner needs to bring it to that high level, right? Where everything is reliable and things are not jerry-rigged. So when you're actually looking at a boat, electrically speaking, besides the wiring, you wanna see what sort of logbook that owner has been operating. Do you have all the receipts? Are they showing you the maintenance that they've done? Are they proud of it? You know, some boat owners have files that are this thick of every single thing they did and why. That level of diligence on their part is really an expression of what they would have done aboard the boat that you're trying to buy. And the good news is, aesthetically, you can actually sit back and see good workmanship without even knowing anything about electrical. If it's absolutely neat and organized, it's definitely gonna mean that the previous owner was willing to take the time to do things right. So look for things that just look off, look weird, look untidy, look messy. Look for those things and look at them where the owner might have done projects. Ask the previous owner, what sort of things did you do yourself? Where did you do them? What did you have to repair? Have him zero or point out what parts of the boat have been upgraded or fixed and to, so that you can look at it and make sure that it were fixed right. Because the bar is pretty low on a lot of boats. Most people are just happy with it working. Not necessarily doing it right, but just working. So have the previous owner pinpoint to you the places that have been fixed or addressed and find out, do you do it yourself? Do you hire someone? Who do you normally hire? All those qualifying questions are gonna give you a sense on the history of the boat and it's gonna give you a little bit of an indication of what's gonna to happen to you if you decide to purchase the boat. Once you own it and it's your boat, your problems, you wanna avoid all of that as much as possible. So ask lots of questions and find out if that owner has the same philosophy for boat maintaining or maintaining as you do. Great question and thanks for asking. Thanks for watching this video. Glad to donate my time to make these videos and to share our passion for marine electrical. Help us keep this channel ad free by donating on PayPal, link below, or also potentially buying some of our merchandise on our store. We hear we've got a hoodie, we've got a hat, and we also have some tumblers and other gear. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.